boys and girls, and welcome. I am Miss Kim, and today I have a wonderful story about Mr. Fish going on a, an adventure. Well, he discovers that with his adventure, he has made all kinds of plans and has mapped out his way, but he realizes real quick that sometimes our journeys don't always go according to the way we planned them. Are you ready to go for a swim with Mr. Fish in The Pout Pout Fish Far, Far From Home? Written by Deborah Deason, pictures by Dan Hanna. Look at that beautiful cover. And how do you know that he is going on vacation? That's right, he is carrying his suitcases. <laughs> and look at that smile. Well, let's begin. Now on this page, I wanna show you how he has a calendar. And it is in the month of June. And he has wrote out vacation during that week, the 12th through the 18th. That's what we do, huh? We get a calendar and write vacation. Are you ready? Let's begin. Mr. Fish sent off for flyers and he studied each location. Then he picked the perfect place for his very first vacation. Look, he's reading different books. He has the different pamphlets. Wow, I wonder where he is wanting to go. Amazing sights to see and only one day's journey there. So he planned and he prepped and he packed his bags with care. I'm a fish who'd like to travel. I'm a fish who'd like to roam. And I'm ready for adventure on my trip away from home. There he is packing a suitcase. He started bright and early, feeling fresh and fishy fine. His trip was going great. Look, it's a sea cucumber crossing. <laughs> Tell a flashing orange sign. What does that say? That's right, it says detour. May I help you? Asked Ray. Do you need a local map? There's an easy way around it. You can be there in a snap. Oh, they're going to help him around the detour. I bet he didn't plan for that, did he? Mr. Fish said, thanks, and he started off anew. The route he maneuvered had a marvelous view. Whoa, look at what he gets to see with that detour. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam, and I'm having an adventure on my trip away from home. He circled round the roundabout and soon was back on track and his trip was going great. Oh, what do you think happened this time? Let's see. Till he reached for his snack. Uh-oh, I wonder what happened. May I help you? Asked an eel. Do you need a place to eat? There's a briny good diner on the very next street. Oh, well, that was helpful. His chips looked a little crumpled. Mr. Fish said thanks, and he quickly found the place. Their flavorful creations put a smile on his face. Look, I don't know what he's eating, but it looks good to him. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam. 
and I'm having an adventure on my trip away from home. And there he goes. He's sitting there eating. And he's refreshed and full of zest. Mr. Fish hit the road and his trip was going great. Oh, what do you think's going to happen next? Can you tell by looking at the picture of what is going to happen next? <laughs> Miss Kim can see it. Oh, no. This says to stay right. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. Oh, no. Till a bump jarred his load. What happened? That's right. They ran into each other. May I help you? Asked Crab. Seems your luggage overflowed. There's a rest stop ahead. We can resume re-secure your load. Well, he's going to help him pick up everything, isn't he? Wow, that was quite a crash. And this is the traffic. He's called the traffic carp. <laughs> I think he's given this fish a ticket. Was he on the wrong side of the road? I think he was. Mr. Fish said thanks, and they handled the repair. His day had been exhausting, but the end was nearly there. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam, and I'm having an adventure on my trip away from home. He finally reached the lodge, found his room, and got unpacked, and his trip was going great. Oh, now what happened? But look at this lodge. Hello, Stone Park Lodge. Wow, that's a nice place to stay. Well, let's see what happens. Till he saw what he lacked. Oh, no. Oh, I really thought I brought it and his heart beat faster. I forgot my snoozy snuggly. My vacation's a disaster. Oh no, I bet his snoozy snuggly is something that he sleeps with at night. What if you forgot your favorite teddy bear or blanket or pillow? I wonder what he does. Well, let's see. I don't like to travel and I don't like to roam. This is not a great adventure. I just want to go home. Oh my gracious, Mr. Fish. Oh, he's very sad now, isn't he? He felt sad and dreary weary. All his plans were falling through, but he'd come so far. Was there something he could do? What could he do, boys and girls? Well, let's see what he does. He took a deep breath. <sighs> it soothed his commotion. A thought reached out all the way across the ocean. He's thinking, I miss you very much. I don't like that we're apart, but until we're back together, I will hold you in my heart. Oh, now see, he knows he has his snoozy snuggly, right? So he has to think really hard and he can hold him in his heart. Now that's an idea. Feeling warm and snug with love, Mr. Fish fell asleep and he woke the next morning with exciting plans to keep. He felt better, didn't he? He went and visited the rock topiary garden. 
Look at all the shapes of the rocks. They're in shapes of fish, aren't they? Wow! What a pretty garden! His vacation was fantastic, full of happy and hooray. <laughs> Look at all the pictures he took. He was having quite a vacation. What amusing things he tried. What amazing sights he saw. Look, he's even surfing. <laughs> what a fun vacation. When his trip was finally over, he reflected on his stay, the things he had learned and who he'd met along the way. Because he met a lot of helpful people, didn't he, on his vacation. Not every single part of a trip goes swell, but the detours and the bumps are the trip as well. That's right, Mr. Fish. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam. And I had a great adventure. <laughs> oh, what fun. Now it's nice to be back home. Well, isn't that the truth? He's got his little, what's it called? His snuggly snoozy. <laughs> And now he's glad to be back home. Well, isn't that the truth though? When we go on vacation, we have great times. And sometimes it doesn't go as well as we thought it would, but we make the best of things, don't we? And that's what we do. And then it's always fun when we get back home where we have our loved ones. Boys and girls, I'm so glad you joined me in this story about Mr. Fish, the Pout Pout Fish. And I want you to remember that a good book and your imagination will take you anywhere. And until next time, bye. <laughs>